Thank you. Oh, well, thank you, baby. It's so nice. I'm, I'm trying to finish this meal. I was over at Sylvia. Y'all ever eat Sylvia? Soul food restaurant, y'all eat over there? That's a real motherfucking soul food restaurant. Wait a minute. Motherfucker good? No, no, because, you know, they got bullshit soul food restaurants. You know what I'm talking about? Sometimes they get you that old Kraft macaroni and cheese or some of that damn Jiffy cornbread mix. Or the real fake ones, they get them frozen greens, put a little grease on the motherfucker, trying to make it look like it. Look like it. I'm talking about real soul food. Now, some of y'all know that food will change your life. Your big ass know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about or not? What's your name? Huh? Glenn. And you feeling that motherfucking chair up too. You feeling that motherfucker all up. You just, mmm. And you know, at first I know y'all nervous because fucking with Glenn. Damn, he big. Come here, fucking with big ass Glenn. I don't give a fuck about how big Glenn is. What the fuck he gonna do to me? I mean, really. Fuck he gonna do to me. I'm gonna fucking get an attitude. All I gotta do is take off running. And if he come after me, I throw down a cheeseburger. And then that motherfucker gotta make a decision. You hear me? You hear me? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can see that motherfucker now. Well, all right, but next time you better put some mustard on this mother. Now, look here. Oh, I, let me, I wanna explain this thing before we get started, cause I know. People see me walking around with this, you know, they say, oh, now that nigga into the voodoo and shit. <laughs> I, I do play with him on an airplane with this motherfucker. Though. I get on that plane, and the flight attendants come up to me, I say, I'm gonna make the plane spin around and around. <laughs> Bag the fuck up. Or you, you know, I always sit in first class. And so, I'm sitting in first class, and ain't nobody black but me and the flight attendant. So I usually sit there, and, and I don't say nothing the whole flight. Like halfway through, I go, I'm gonna eat dinner. And I don't say shit else for the whole flight. That motherfucker just biting his nails, land this motherfucker, land it, Bob! <laughs> no, really though, um, this thing here is from the, uh, the Mayan decade. It's like a, it's an, an Indian, uh, Mexican Indian type artifact that they made, you know. It's called a, a fetish, right? You know, and like, actually the motherfucker just a flute. <laughs> don't have shit to do with the show. But I said, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm the host, I do the fuck I want, you know. Now, wait, wait a minute, because I'm, I'm, I haven't started yet. I'm going to get started in a minute. Um, but so far, all that shit I was doing, <laughs> funny in the motherfucker. Oh, you're funny in the motherfucker. Some peoples weren't laughing. That's right, peoples. I got college education. I didn't spend three years in eighth grade for nothing, goddammit. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Some peoples didn't laugh. Now, I have to assume that some of you are comedically lazy. They don't want to work for the joke. They just want me to lay that motherfucker out. I won't do it. Instead, I'm gonna hit your ass right now with what I call Michael Kaya's complicated joke series. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say complicated, that means some of you folks gonna get it right away. Some of you, it's gonna take a couple of seconds. And some of y'all won't get the shit till next Tuesday. All I ask is, if anybody around you don't get the joke, you don't help them. You hear me? Anybody don't get one of the first three jokes, fuck them. <laughs> Thank you. First joke in a complicated joke series. Woman's on her way to church. Catholic church. Slips on the stairs, falls down, her dress flies everywhere. Now she's trying to get herself together. Looked up and saw the priest coming out the church. She said, pardon me, Father, but is mass out? He said, no, but your hat's on kind of crooked. <laughs> is my ass out? Is mad? i help you with the first one. No, no, the next two, your ass is on your own. Second joke in the complicated joke series. A drunk comes stumbling into the same church, stumbles over to the confessional booth and sits down. Drunk sitting there, oh, 10, 15 minutes. Priest comes in, slides open the little door. Yes, my son, may I help you? Drunk says, yeah. You got any paper over there on your side? <laughs> Don't fuck 
can help him. Hey! What you doing? Wait now, I got a problem. I got a problem here because uh, I only got like another minute and a half before we're going to start bringing the axe in. And some people like getting red over there. You're getting on my fucking nerves. <laughs> it's your third and final opportunity to get on board. You don't catch up now. We're taking off without your ass. <laughs> third in a complicated joke series. Every day, this man would come into the same restaurant, sit at the same table. He had the same menu, same waitress, and he always ordered pork chops. Mm -hmm. Every day, same table, same menu, same waitress, pork chops. <laughs> Finally, the waitress, she got tired of this. Mm -hmm. Come in early one day, took a black market pen, scratched out the pork chops. So the man come in, he sat down, opened up the menu. Waitress come over, she said, you know, I just scratched what you'd really like. He said, all right, go wash your hands and bring me them poke chops. <laughs> 